everybody it's Debbie here welcome back to my channel I have a little bit of a project to share with you today I am doing a swap and this swap is for two paper crafted tags the um, the dimensions were to be three and a half by seven inches the theme was vintage collage and we could use paper photos buttons lace fabric anything that we wanted to pretty much on these tags so I am just going to share with you what I've created and um, I hope you like it so if you're new here welcome to my channel and thanks so much for joining me today and if you are a returning viewer then thanks for coming back I'm really happy to have you here so let's get on with these tags so this first one I love it I just this is my favorite I'm gonna show my favorite one first um, this is a the, the backing on this tag is from a master board that I created a collage master board that I did um, a couple of weeks ago in a vintage theme and I cut a piece of that off to make this tag and I am so glad I did because it's just so pretty let's move this one out of the way for a bit so what I've done with this to stick with that kind of sewing vintage theme that I created on the master board because I used the um the background, no, on the background, I used the pattern from an old vintage Butterick pattern. And I don't know if Butterick was in the States or if it was just a Canadian pattern company, but I remember it very, very well from my younger days. And I buy my patterns I anytime I see them at yard sales or thrift stores or anything like that they're usually pretty cheap so I pick them up for crafting supplies and this one but you go and watch that um, that video on how I created this background it really turned out pretty so I just cut the tag from that and most of the work was already done I went through my stash of patterns and I found this lovely lady now she was wearing a pencil skirt um, on this and it was a pattern for a or a pencil skirt dress and it was a pattern for three different dresses um the first one was a pencil skirt the second one had more of an a-line skirt and then the third one was the pencil skirt but it had sleeves and so there were three dresses and very pretty but I decided to create my own dress so when I I fussy cut this girl off the front of the packaging and I I just kind of v-cut from the waist down like there isn't much of her under here and I fussy cut her purse She's carrying this little clutch purse. So I fussy cut it and I made sure that this arm was free moving when I cut it. And I used the pattern paper, the pattern tissue to create the skirt. So I just used a, um, I, I just cut the length that I needed and I used a piece about six inches wide and I gathered it at the top and glued it. And then I just put her down here and I've got her popped up on the foam tape so that she's she's up there you can see underneath but she's up off the page so to add her belt and finish the top of her skirt off I used this um, glitter foiled twine I'm not sure what it is it was just like it came in a package with some rick rack and some trims and things like that so a piece of trim I guess I, I put it underneath like I slid it right underneath wrapped it around tied it and made this nice little bow and then I just put a little dot of hot glue on there to hold it <coughs> excuse me 
I decided that she needed a bracelet, so I did the same thing. The bracelet is actually wrapped right around her arm three times, knotted, and then I just rolled it. I cut it, trimmed it really tight, rolled it, and put the knot to the back with a little dab of hot glue underneath so that it would um, stay and not come unraveled. Then I used my... Um, liquid pearls in the gold and I put some dimension you see the dimension here with the liquid pearls around the top of her neckline and I glittered the little bow that was in her hair with some stickles and she was done and I absolutely love the way she turned out all I had to do to finish this up was add some of those I wanted a ribbon for the top so I added some of those trims from that package now that was a package of trims from Dollar Tree I think um it might have been Dollarama but I'm pretty sure it was Dollar Tree. And yeah, I think she turned out just fabulous. So I just added a little sentiment on there and, and I'm quite happy with that one. And the second one, I love it as well. Um, it, it's not my favorite. This one was my favorite, but I love it as well. So what I did with this one was I started with um, a piece of cardstock from or a piece of chipboard from a cereal box cut it to the size of the tag that I needed I added a piece of scrapbooking paper on top I stamped on it and then I collaged all these little bits and Tim Holtz ephemera pieces and um, things like that in here and I added a piece of uh, lace and this is like a crocheted lace across the bottom here I added these three buttons that matched my color scheme I took my black um, what's my pen pen called <laughs> I used my Micron pen. I love these pens because they're permanent ink. They dry almost instantly and they're the archival ink. I love using those for tags and I love using my Rangers archival ink as well in the jet black for finishing my edges. But so on this one, I have sewing as my focal point again. Like I'm not a seamstress or anything. I just like collecting little bits and pieces. And when I was going through the Tim Holtz little bits of ephemera, I found this um, dressmaker's stand, I guess, form, dressmaker's form, I think it's called. And this little piece of ephemera that has buttons, it looked like a card of buttons. This little piece back in here was the, um, you can see a little like suit, like a little dress two piece outfit there. Um, it was sewing instructions. This bit of tag that I ripped and put in underneath here said JP Coates best six cord school spool cotton so I put a lot of pieces on here there's a time clock here that you'd punch there's the clock there's the card um yeah I just thought all these little vintage sewing bits kind of gave me a cohesive theme on this card but between the two cards as well very different cards but the same theme so then to finish this off I found a little sentiment I like these stickers by Jot from the dollar store and they do make them in these little packages that have just sentiment stickers so I've used one of those this time and it said all things are possible if you believe and I added the little girl just because I thought she was cute the buttons and a postcard I mean this postcard maybe is a uh, invitation to a party and this little girl may need a new dress so to finish it off the final touch was I added some liquid pearls here here and here in threes 
just because, yeah, pearl beads might be laying around a dressmaker shop as well. And then a piece of this. I found this ribbon. I, I found this little bit of ribbon and I used it. What I really wanted to put on here was some seam binding and I couldn't find, I thought I had some left, but I couldn't find any. So I'm going to have to buy myself some seam bindings because... I haven't used them for a while, and and for quite some time, they were one of my favorite go-to items when I was doing things like this. So that's my two cards. Same theme, decidedly different on... I've lost my finger now. My goodness. I just realized I'm missing one. I'm sorry about that. So, but anyway, I edged these both in the black. It certainly shows a little more on this one than it does on this one. But yeah, I really like them. And I hope that the recipient likes them as well. Um, I love using things like this for bookmarks. And I like to use my tags. I, I keep them. When I do a swap with somebody, I keep them. But I mean, there's not so much dimension on these that you couldn't, couldn't just slide them in a book or use them to keep place in your favorite magazine while you're reading it. Um, yeah, these can be used as well as displayed. And further on through the year, I'm thinking that I'd like to make a big display for tags and ATC cards and paper crafting things that I swap for. And um, if I do, I will share that with you. So if you like this little crafty share i guess then uh, please give it a thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber consider hitting the subscribe button and joining my youtube family and um, comment down below which one of these do you like the best which one's your favorite is it the lady ready to go to the afternoon um tea or dinner party or whatever or is it the sewing room one so yeah give me a comment let me know what you think and just let me know what you think of them I, I i like reading constructive criticisms as well if there's something that you think i might have done differently let me know so bye bye for now everybody i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye bye Thank you.